What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Technotips ESP.NET MVC tutorial. So this is part 55 of this video series and part 2nd of the repository pattern. Here I am going to demonstrate about how to add domain layer under repository pattern. Okay, so you might have seen this diagram in previous tutorial. There we have successfully added this business layer. Now it's time to add the uh, domain layer okay so as you know the domain layer consists the domain models or classes that's going to hold the data coming from data access layer okay so here you might have seen this diagram also so our data going to travel from entity classes to domain model then domain model to view model okay so let's create our domain layer so just click on your solution and just add new project and just give a name here mvc tutorial okay dot domain so make sure you give it good name so here is your domain name and there I'll just create a class just right click here and add a class let's say employee whatever class you are going to mention here so give it a good name like employee domain model okay and make sure to make it public so that other assembly can access it okay so my domain model is ready now let's create some property here like int public int employee id and then get set copy this and the second property would be name okay make it as a string in previous tutorial we already discussed about that this domain layer going to be used by wave layer as well as business layer so in wave layer just give a reference of domain layer okay so right click here and add reference so here you will see business layer was already added and now domain layer we are adding okay now go to your business layer and in the reference just right click here and add reference so here you will see the web layer uh, web layer reference and the domain layer reference just give a reference so here you can see mvc tutorial dot domain so both mvc business has the domain layer reference and the web layer has the domain layer reference okay now go to your business and create a method here now see how to use it how to use your domain model so give it a list and use employee domain model okay right click here and resolve it okay and uh, name your method get all employee okay and now here when you click here so implement interface employee business so the rest of the method will be implemented here okay and now I'm going to create an instance of the employee domain uh, first of all delete this domain and right click here and resolve it 
okay so this would require the list of employee so here I'm creating an instance of this all right and I'm adding some data to this add new and employee domain I'm not getting data from you know from database once we will create the data access layer then we will get get the data from database okay employee name then ID employee ID equal to let's say one Let's copy this for one, two, three, four. All right, and give any name Rob, Sarah, Jack, Peter. All right, change the employee ID two, three, four, five okay and you should return this list alright so your method is ready now now the next step is to call this method okay using this so in my interface there are two methods now go to your web layer and open up your controller this is your repo controller and there we have already created the instance of this employee business class so now put the data into view pack dot employ list equal to EMP business dot here you can say get all employee and copy this view back right click here and now you can use it as you as I already given several example in previous tutorial All right at if view pack is not equal to null this null check is very important otherwise if your list will be empty then you will get an exception okay so for each item in collection so your collection is your view back dot list okay uh, first of all let's create a table here and in t body just write your code All right. Now, inside the T body, use TR, then do TD. Let's copy that and paste here. Use at rate item dot employ ID, and then use at rate item dot name all right I think this is okay now let's run this and let's see what's gonna happen all right so here you go here you got the list of employee 
from the business layer all right so you can navigate to the employee business here and check out uh, the data just reload it and here you will retrieve all the data from the list now f10 you have defined here and then in the list you have your five data all right now go to the index and uh, you can use the class table class from the bootstrap so just use table table you can use table with strip reload it I think the table stripped class has not been applied uh, alright so in this way you can use your domain layer okay so domain layer is very useful for holding the data coming from the data access layer and it can be used by your business layer as well as for your you know the web layer okay so notice that uh, we haven't used into our web layer okay so let us create a list of employee domain model right right click here resolve it and make it a list equal to this call this method okay and then further than you can use it anywhere save it before returning data to the view we must copy all the data from this model to the view model we already have created this model view model this here alright so there we have you know infrastructure auto mapper and then we have your see employee create map alright view model to domain model so just copy this copy and paste here model right click here resolve it this model is present inside this domain model and also don't forget to create reverse mapping all right so all your four mapping will be here and then reverse mapping all right so if you don't know about the auto mapper then you can go through the uh, tutorial in the previous tutorial like part 51 or 52 and then we can uh, go to the controller here and we can have you know list of employee view model resolve it all right list employ okay equal to new employ and then use auto mapper 
dot map dot map sorry from this list to employ okay list let's say the domain and for vm all right so we are renaming it name and use this list domain okay auto mapper will map the domain all right so all data will be received here now build the solution and run it now before assigning this to employ view backlog employ list we will check out the whether the auto mapper mapping it or not okay so function f10 we have received the data into our domain model we have created the instance of our view model right now it doesn't have data now using auto mapper we have here you can see five and then five using auto mapper we have you see the property which is matched in the previous you know in the domain model see we are getting the employee id as well as the name but rest fill are null because we don't have you know other field defined inside the uh, inside this domain model here you can see only two properties are there now continue now let's see all right so same output you have just got okay so we have created our own list and uh, uh, bind to the domain layer and then from domain layer to view model we just copied all the data using auto mapper okay so this is the basic concept and the architecture I hope you understood this concept so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and don't forget to share this video among your friends okay 